Strawberry letter. Come on. Subject, mothers having babies to keep a man. Good morning, Stephen Shirley. I have a friend who uses her son to get back at his father. The father does so much for the both of them. However, she doesn't appreciate a thing. This past Father's Day, he knew he wasn't getting anything from his son. The mother has told him in the past that he ain't her father. Really? (laughs) Where have we heard that before? (laughs) The mother has told him in the past that he ain't her father, so she ain't getting him nothing on behalf of his son. Mm. I believe that since the father doesn't want to be in a relationship with her, she feels the need to hurt him like she's been hurt. This is so wrong and such a waste of time and energy. What I want to say to her is make it about your son and less about you. Let go. Love your son enough to leave your immature and hurt feelings because it ain't about you. What would it hurt to buy a card for your son's father? Acknowledge the father and all that he does. There are so many men out there who can give a darn about their child. Your son will end up resenting you and your ways for spoiling what could have been a wonderful relationship with his father. Get over your selfishness and grow up and be the mother you need to be to raise a decent boy. Shame on women who hold their children as pawns in their game of power. If you don't want to... If you don't want me, then I'll make sure you'll pay uh, using the only leverage I have, your son. Okay. I mean, well said. This letter isn't asking for any advice or any of that, you know. But I I will tell you, your logic is just straight on point. I mean, everything you said is true. It's nothing worse, I think, than sitting by and just watching a good man, a good man. And this man in the letter sounds like a great man. Watching a good man get raked over the coals by some bitter acting trifling woman. So if you're really her friend, you know, I would tell her exactly what you've told, uh, what you've written to Steve and I in this letter. Tell her that. Now, I don't know how well she's going to take it or if she's going to turn on you or anything like that. But you you can tell her that because you see it every day because you're her friend. So tell her. Steve? Women do this all the time. Yeah, they do. There are more women guilty of this than you can imagine. Women who have the upper hand in most courts, women who have the rights as the biological mother, take full advantage of this and disallow so many relationships with children to have with their father. This is the worst thing you can do. The lady's letter is dead on in everything she says. But in your effort to hurt the man, The person that you hurt the absolute most is the person that you claim to love the most, which is your child. So now you're going to deny your child an opportunity to be able to say at school, that's my daddy. My daddy coming up here to pick me up. My daddy took me here this weekend. My daddy came to the PTA meeting. My daddy came to the father-daughter dance. My dad is a scout leader with me. My daddy took me to the game. My daddy taught me how to throw a ball. So you're going to take all that from your child. My daddy bought me a teddy bear. My daddy took me to the park. I'm going to tell my daddy on you. My father, you can't come over my house. My father is there, and he don't like boys like you. You're going to take that from your child. Because you mad because you and him ain't working out no more. You and him were together for obviously the one sole purpose was to create that little child that's there. Now, the fact that you want to use this child as a pawn against the man, the person you really hurting is the child. 